Disclaimer, all these mentioned aircraft companies technically no longer exist due to them combining to form UAC. Now let's start the video. Tupolev, Tupolev. Now officially, United Aircraft Company Tupolev was once the Tupolev Design Bureau. Its headquarters are in Moscow, Russia. It was founded on October 1922 by aerospace pioneer and engineer Andrei Tupolev, who led the company for 50 years until his death in 1972. They designed over 100 different types of aircraft. Their first passenger aircraft was the Tupolev Tu-104, which was based on the Tu-16 bomber. It worked as a great propaganda machine. They claimed it was revolutionary, especially after the failure of the first Western jet, the de Havilland Comet. But the Tupolev was just as, if not more, dangerous than the Comet. Their first military craft was the Tupolev TB-1. Tupolev made major contributions to the Russian, Soviet, and later Russian military, especially in the fields of bombers, strategic aviation, and maritime patrol aircraft. They also made the Tu-114, which was developed from the Tu-95 bomber. It won many awards for maximum speed records and altitude with payloads, etc. It is still the fastest turboprop aircraft. Then came the Tu-144, the Soviet Concorde. They rushed its development to beat the Concorde, and as a result, the systems were less refined. It only flew for six months as it was prone to crashing, notably at the Paris Air Show. The Tu-144 proved a disappointment, with crashes in 1973 and 1978, resulting in its withdrawal as a passenger aircraft in 1978. After the Soviet era, they made aircraft like the Tu-204, Tu-214, and Tu-334. Ilyushin Ilyushin was founded on 13th January 1933 by Sergei Vladimirovich Ilyushin. Their first passenger aircraft was the Ilyushin Il-12, which was built to replace the Lusinov Li-12, which was actually a Douglas DC-3. It was later replaced by the much better and much reliable Ilyushin Il-14. Their first military craft was the Ilyushin DB-3. In the topic of military, Ilyushin was one of the most important aircraft design bureaus in Soviet and Russian aviation history, especially known for ground attack, transport, and bomber aircraft. Ilyushin mainly focuses on military transport aircrafts. In the commercial sector came the Ilyushin Il-62. The Ilyushin Il-62 was the largest Soviet airliner when it first flew in 1963. Over 30 nations operated the Il-62, with over 300 aircraft built 80 examples exported and others having been leased by Soviet Sphere and several Western airlines. The Il-62M variant became the longest-serving model in its airliner class. Then came the Ilyushin Il-86, then Il-96. There was also a regional turboprop Il-114, Yakovlev. Yakovlev was founded on the 15th of January 1934 by Alexander Sergeyevich Yakovlev. Their first proper commercial aircraft was the Yak-40. Local services, many of which operated from grass airfields, were served by obsolete piston-engine aircraft such as the Ilyushin Il-12, Il-14, and Lysinov Li-2. Aeroflot wanted to replace these elderly airliners with a turbine-powered aircraft, with the Yakovlev Design Bureau being assigned to design it. It would have to be able to operate safely and reliably out of poorly equipped airports with short, less than 700 meters or 2,300 feet, unpaved runways in poor weather. The Yak-40 succeeded at its job. Then came the Yak-42, which was meant to replace the Tupolev 134. It was the first airliner produced in the Soviet Union to be powered by modern high-bypass turbofan engines. There is also an upcoming Yakovlev MC-21. Yakovlev made major contributions to the Soviet and Russian military, especially in fighter aircraft, trainers, and light tactical planes. While it didn't produce strategic bombers like Tupolev or attack aircraft like Ilyushin, Yakovlev was vital in fighter development, especially during World War II and the early jet age. Sukhoi Sukhoi was founded by Pavel Sukhoi in 1939. They are headquartered in Moscow, Russia. Sukhoi is a major Russian aircraft manufacturer that primarily designs fighter jets and military aircraft. They make many types of military aircraft, like Su-27, Su-30, Su-34, Su-57, etc. They so far have one passenger aircraft, which is the Sukhoi Superjet 100, SSJ-100. It is a regional passenger aircraft designed for short and medium routes. It's Russia's attempt at reviving a civil aviation industry. Their aircraft have been exported to over 15-plus countries. 
They compete globally against companies like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Dassault. The previously mentioned Sukhoi Superjet 100 has had reliability and part supply issues. Western sanctions after 2014 and 2022 hurt aircraft production, especially where foreign components were used. Mikoyan Mikoyan, or MIG, was founded by Artem Mikoyan and Mikhail Gurevich in 1939. They are headquartered in Moscow, Russia. They mainly specialize in dogfighters and interceptor aircraft. Some examples of their aircraft are MiG-23, MiG-31. During the 1990s and 2000s, they started falling behind Sukhoi as the Russian Air Force chose Sukhoi as their main supplier. As of recent times, they make MiG-35 and MiG-29 aircraft. UAC UAC, or United Aircraft Corporation, is a Russian state-owned association that controls all Russian aircraft manufacturers and works. They are engaged in the manufacture, design, and sale of military, civilian, transport, and unmanned aircraft. Its headquarters are in Leningradsky Avenue, Koroshovsky District, Moscow, Russia. After the Soviet Union's sudden collapse in 1991, the aerospace industry of Russia was in turmoil. An excessive amount of imports and highly protective tariffs devastated the manufacturing industry, both the aerospace and the automotive industry. The military aircraft industry was able to benefit from improving export possibilities by profiting from a large storage of components and parts from Soviet times. In contrast, the civilian aircraft industry suffered large losses, and production of civilian aircraft diminished significantly. For example, in 1990, Soviet industry produced 715 aircraft. Eight years later, that number decreased by 661 to only 54 aircraft. In 2000, just four civilian aircraft were produced. To address this, the president of Russia, at that time, Boris Yeltsin, decided that consolidation was necessary. He decided to create the MAPA, Moscow Aircraft Production Association, which included companies such as Mikoyan. The consolidation was not successful, and MAPO later merged with Sukhoi. The UAC was created on 20 February 2006 by Russian President Vladimir Putin by merging shares from Ilyushin, Irkut, Mikoyan, Sukhoi, Tupolev, and Yakovlev as a new joint stock company named the OJSC United Aircraft Corporation to optimize production and minimize losses. An honorable mention is Beriev. They were founded on 1934 by Georgi M. Beriev. They make amphibian aircrafts. They are one of the only aircraft companies in a world still making large amphibians. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to suggest your video ideas in the comment section down below.